Welcome to my kitchen. Have you ever wondered how our forefathers managed to maintain their health without all the modern conveniences we have? I can't imagine not having a refrigerator. Well, they went out and foraged and gathered nuts, seeds, and berries to supplement their diet. In their natural and unprocessed state, these raw foods are extremely heart healthy, providing an excellent source of protein, essential vitamins, and beneficial fatty acids, which increase our energy and vitality. They also contain beneficial bacteria and other microorganisms that stimulate our immune system and enhance digestion. So today, we're going to make a fantastic trail mix using raw nuts and seeds mixed with dried fruit. And for a real treat, we'll throw in some raw chocolate. Yes, chocolate. Then we'll take it a step further. By adding just a few ingredients, we'll make my Foragers Energy Bars that are sure to satisfy your appetite and taste incredible. They're the perfect addition to the kids' school lunch or make a great and wholesome after-school snack. So for the trail mix, all you have to do is mix together equal parts of your family's favorite raw nut seeds and dried fruit in a large bowl. Let's start with the nuts. Now all the nuts I'm going to use today are raw and unsalted, which is the key to making this recipe healthy. Let's start with cashews. They're one of my family's favorites. Even though they're actually very rich to me, they're lower in fat than many other nuts. Now cashews contain the heart healthy fat oleic acid, which is found in olive oil. Then I've got raw peanuts and I've got some pine nuts. Now, these give you added protein as well as vitamin E and magnesium. What's better than that? Then I'm going to put in some pumpkin seeds. Did you know that pumpkin seeds actually helped protect the bone density in men due to their high zinc content? Now, I'm just going to mix those up for a bit. Traditionally, dried fruit is uh, dried at temperatures that are very low heat. That's why I'm using them in a raw foods mix for about 8 to 10 hours or even naturally in the sun. They really make a nice addition to the raw nuts and seeds, and they have so many health benefits. Let's start with a dried berry you probably haven't heard of. It's called a goji berry. That's what I have right here. You can see these bright red berries are goji berries. These come from China and the Himalayans where they grow high in the mountains. They're known as the feel-good berry because they induce a sense of well-being. They're truly a marvel of nature in that they contain a significant percentage of the day's macronutrient and micronutrient needs. They're also very, very rich in beta carotene. In fact, you know, that's known if they have those qualities as a famine food, meaning they can sustain life. If you can't find goji berries, let me know and I'll get you a mail order source. Then I'm going to add unsweetened dried cranberries. I just love cranberries. They are a great antioxidant source. They support blood vessel restoration, even help you burn cholesterol. And I like the color and flavor they add. Now we're going to add some dried apricots and pineapple, which are very high in bromelain. That's an enzyme that helps aid digestion. These apricots, to get them unsweetened and without sugar can be a little bit of a challenge. So I actually bought them whole and chopped them, but you can get them anyway. Here's my my pineapple which I just love and those are easy to find so I'll just mix those up now I've got my nuts my seeds my berries so for a little bit of fun let's add cacao nibs you probably haven't heard this termed this way this is actually chocolate it's raw unsweetened chocolate which contains no sugar I mean no sugar believe it or not it's good for you all I have to do is just blend that together mix it up store it in an airtight container now I've got to tell you I like to put this in glass it seems that when I put it in plastic it tends to take on that taste so I prefer either glass or the lucite containers that you can find with snap-on lids this is so filling and delicious Fantastic, you've got to do this. You can see in my display up here, I have got one that's in a container. What could be better for the kids than that? Now, for my fantastic Foragers Energy Bars, let's go over here and mix this up for you. What we're gonna do is simply take a fourth a cup of each of the ingredients in that trail mix. I roughly chop it and set it aside, which I have right here. Then in a large mixing bowl, I'll blend one and a half cups rolled oats, and I do prefer the organic type, so get that if you can. Half a cup of whole wheat flour, and then a half a cup of shredded coconut. I'll just blend that together. This is so easy, the kids can help you make it, and it tastes so good, you're going to want to do this. 
Blend that together. Now we're going to add that mixture of nuts, which I've chopped a little bit because you want them to stick together well. So we'll just mix that up. And then over low heat in a separate pan, you're going to want to melt a fourth a cup of butter with a cup of honey, which I've got going on my stove over here. And that looks like it's melted pretty good. So I'm just going to whisk in three tablespoons of arrowroot powder as my thickener. Sometimes this can puff up at you, so bear with me. There we go. We'll just whisk that in really good. And the arrowroot can come off a little bit powdery at first, but it will blend in nicely. And that is really good as an egg replacer and as a binder because you're going to want these to stay nice and thick and then after it cooks, these will be able to sit out on the counter without going bad. So we'll just whisk that up and then I simply pour it over my mixture. There we go. Now when you mix this up, it's going to be a little bit stiff and that's okay. There we go. And you just work with it. Now if I wanted to make a double batch of this, I would actually use a great big uh, baking sheet lined with parchment paper, but for today, I'm going to put this in a baking pan, uh, which works good too, but I wouldn't use a metal pan. I would prefer you use a stone dish mark, uh, lined with your parchment paper, and that will work good. So see how it is a little bit stiff and I'm having to work it a little bit? That's okay. And also, this is one of those recipes that don't be afraid to add a little bit more honey if it's too dry. You know how climates change and sometimes there's more humidity in the air than other times. Now that's coming together just like I want it. It's going to be a little bit sticky and that's okay. So when I get this just a little bit further, I'll be ready to go. And I've got my oven already preheated to 350, which is what you're going to want to cook that at. So we'll take that and then I've got a baking dish here, which I have lined with parchment paper. So we'll put this here for us. And we'll come over here and just spoon it out into the middle. If your parchment paper gets off to the side, it's, it's okay. You can just slide it back. That allows it not to stick to the bottom too good, and it, it makes the removal a lot better. And if I were going to do this on a large cookie sheet or baking sheet, if I made a double recipe, then I would just put it down and condense it by hand. But I'm going to spread this out just like this. You can see it's kind of tough, but it's great. And you know, if you're going to want to condense it down, so if the kids help you, you're going to want to go back along after them and just press it down tightly like that. Want to get every bit of that because it is so good. Then we'll just simply put this in the oven for 20, 25 minutes until lightly browned. And for just a little added flavor, I like to sprinkle it with a little cinnamon, just a little across the top. Goes great with that chocolate all the nut seeds and berries and how beautiful is that so I'm gonna take this and pop it in the oven how delicious smells so good I want to get into it right now there we go so 20 25 minutes 350 heat perfect take it out and be sure you cut the bars or squares while slightly warm and then transfer to an airtight container for storage these will keep for several days or in the refrigerator for up to a week these are so good, it's hard to eat just one. Look at this beautiful set of bars that I have for you. For a little bit of fun, you can put a little coconut on them. Healthy cooking can be so rewarding, especially when you know you're doing something to help every member of your family. And these are snacks you can feel good about that satisfy your sweet tooth as well. We've got the trail mix. What's better than that easy snacking? You can keep it at your desk, you can put it in the kids' lunch, Wonderful, and then take it a step further for fantastic Foragers Energy Bars. For a copy of these recipes, log on to my website and for additional tips on how to make these, which is HealthyCookingWithCindy.com. Thank you so much for being with me today. Please stay tuned because we're going to be right back for more of your health.